Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. I'm Christy Scheib and this morning we're visiting with Kristen Hildebrand. She's our Warren County Extension Agent for Horticulture. Good morning, Kristen. Good morning, Christy. Well, we've had a lot of fun today. We have. And today you're showing us how to make a holiday arrangement using water beads. And yesterday you talked to us about these water beads and the many uses of yes. them. Yes, they're a lot of fun. And so the, we talked about the water beads some yesterday, like you said. Said. And so it was a lot of fun to actually put it all into use to make a holiday arrangement. So what we did is we took a, a clear upright base like what we have on the set. This is actually the finished product. But what we did is we just basically layered in the water beads. So you start with a couple of layers of water beads. And then what we have um, that we used is basically just a little bit of vase filler. And so we, we chose like a red and gold color. So we just layered that in. And then after you put in the layer of ornaments, then you wanna go ahead and put some more uh, water beads on top of it and just continue on with the layers. So you probably want to leave uh, enough you know, room at the top because as you, um, at the end of this, you'll add more water to it and then basically um, you know try to keep out any air bubbles that may may form because these are water beads so they're going to absorb a lot more water than what you think for and then you know at the very top of our arrangement we've got the floating candle which is a great way to use it in the way that we've done today so kristen let me see if i walked through this correctly we did a layer of the water beads then a layer of the ornaments and then once you completed your layers Next, you added water. Yes. Is that correct? Yes, yes. And so it's really interesting to see all the, the layers. And then basically when you add the water to it, you can see it even more. And the clear, you know, we, we chose just because, you know, I Clear is just clear, so, but feel free if you want to add in some food coloring, that's another way that you can jazz it up a little bit more, um, depending on what your holiday decor is like. But this is just a really simple and pretty arrangement. Now, once you finish with all the layering and things like that, we added just some fresh greenery that we actually picked from around um, my yard, just basically outside. So we have some arborvitae, which is more flat. So you just kind of, once you get all of the, the vases, and I did a group of three, um, then you add the greenery, the arborvitae on the on the bottom, and then um, as you get the plate covered, then you're going to go ahead and add in a second greenery, which we have the pine, and so that cut pine is going to provide a nice fragrance to your arrangement, and then um, towards the end of our arrangement, we basically add just a little bit more of the ornaments to it as well. Now, Kristen, it looks so beautiful, and you talked to us a few weeks ago about using fresh greenery yes. in decorating. What is the best way for us to care for our fresh greenery? Yes, so um, if you're using it indoors, it's going to dry out a little bit faster, um, but, you know, for those parties and those functions that gatherings that you have at your home, it'll be really, really pretty, and again, there's different greenery that'll provide some fragrance. So what you can do is submerge your cut stems of greenery in a five gallon bucket of water and let that soak overnight. That'll also keep in some extra moisture around the stems, especially if you're using open flame, um, kind of like what we've done. Mm -hmm. You would probably want to make sure that you do take some precautions just so that way um, you don't want anything to catch on fire. But I don't think it will, especially, and, and probably the stems pro probably last a couple of days. Like I said, there's also anti-transpirant that you can spray on it and it also kind of helps hold in some extra moisture around it but you know this is very simple and um, again it's using the water beads which is a fairly new product and you know get your kids involved with the the you know the process and like I said you can have memories together as a family as you're doing it too. Now Kristen you mentioned the final touch for the floating candle. Yes. Um, now you are going to light our arrangement for us just to show yeah, the beauty of this. I was going to say just a little bit of glow to your holiday table. This season is just really, really pretty. And again, if you would like any or you have any questions about how to use water beads, you can give us a call. We'll be glad to walk you through it. Kristen, thank you so much for showing us how to use these water beads so many ways and how to care for our fresh greenery. Thank you so much for joining us today on the Farm and Home Show, and we'll see you next time.